Hey guys, Stephen Hayes here with another quick tutorial on uh, some lightsaber effects. Um, a lot of you have been asking how to create the contact flashes of when sabers connect with one another, and it's a pretty simple thing. What I do is I go to Ryan Weber's website, ryanw.com. Uh, on his tutorials page, he's got some contact flashes here. And he provides you with a free download file of uh, a real quick file he made in, uh, or actually Michael Scott made in Photoshop using some filters. And uh, you right click and download that file. And then in After Effects, the file looks like this. It's just a real quick four frame flash. So, what we're going to do is um, I'll show you what my footage looks like here. It's uh, another clip from Peter vs. Brandon 2. This is what it looks like with the contact flashes. gives it that more Star Wars like feel. Without the contact flashes, it's not not so great. It's a bit more bland. So, to add the flashes, first thing first, we're going to go in and bring this footage layer in of the saber flash. Just drag it out on top of your file into your uh workspace. And bam, you got it like this. Now, you need to go down to the bottom left and where this little little uh, button says expand or collapse the transfer controls panel click that opens up some blending mode options you're gonna change right here where it says normal you're gonna click the little drop down arrow and change it to add this kind of filters out all the black in that that uh, clip so we're just left with this flash now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fast forward in our, in our uh, clip until where they first connect lightsabers together. Right there. Then we're going to take the footage, drag it all the way forward. Bam, right like that. Now all we gotta do is reposition it. So we're just going to drag it, the clip, right over top of his their blades connecting. And then I'm going to zoom out a little bit and just uh, grabbing the positioning of the uh, the flash itself. It's a bit big so I'm just going to scale it right down to what I feel is more of an appropriate size flash for uh, for these two blades connecting at this distance from the camera. Pretty easy. That's one down. Next blade connect right right there. All we're gonna do is we're gonna select the layer, press Control D for duplicate, or you can go under Edit and duplicate, and then we're just gonna drag this file right here just like we did the first one, all the way up to starting here. Like the first one, again, we're going to reposition it by dragging it here. And then, that's that. Let's move on to the third one. Right there. Once again, duplicate. Drag it over here. Reposition it up there. Done like that. Alright. And finally, the fourth connection right there. Duplicate once more, slide it down there, and put it there. And as far as you could say, you're done now. Let's watch it. Like that. Those contact flashes might be a bit small, but that's okay. I'm not too concerned about it right now. Might keep them a bit bigger in future Okay, so a couple quick advanced things you can do with this. First things first, on this clip here, where their blades connect when the flash starts and when the flash ends, slightly different spot. Hard to tell because they don't move too much. But if we select that layer, you can see the center of the flash is not where the center of their blades are anymore. Uh, if you really want to be picky and... Uh, and uh, change this up yourself. What you can do is you can go select the layer, press P to bring up the positioning tab, go to the start of the clip, and then click the little stopwatch beside position to keyframe it, and then move forward a couple frames to where it's, uh, where it's changed, and then just drag the positioning down over top where, this, where it should be connecting again. And this will move the flash with your saber blades. Hard to tell the difference in this shot, but that's okay. You can do the same for this one. See here, where their blades are moving quicker, the flash is kind of left there instead of right where their blades are. So to make the quick change in that, 
just P stopwatch right here drag it to there and you're done one final thing I'd like to point out here it's kind of a personal preference choice but uh, some people would assume that when you can see the flash the contact point itself you can't uh, you shouldn't be able to see you should be able to treat the whole flash like it's a flash on the camera lens or in your iris rather than uh, reality some people would like to say well you shouldn't be able to see this part of the flash here because it should be obscured behind Peter because the flash takes place behind Peter um, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to how to obscure this. It's very similar to making a lightsaber go behind someone. Um, you're just going to create the take the the layer of the flash, right? Click it, go mask, new mask, and then I'm just going to go drag in some of these points just here. You can see it cuts off the flash. I'm going to use my pen tool, add a whole bunch of little little dots along this line. just like that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, over here going to build sort of a, a structure around Peter's head like this. I'm going to do this really rough and quick for time's sake. But kind of just, you know, um, building this up, up around him. Uh, go down here. Um, add a few more points. Just like that. There we go. So we got that. Then we're just going to set the, um, if I double press M on Saber Flash, it'll bring up my masks options. Here we go. I'm going to change mask one's blending mode to subtract. And as you can see now, it's kind of like a cardboard cutout around him, just to make it look a little bit better. We're going to go change the feather to, mm, say, 30. And then the mask expansion to 10. No, we're going to leave that at zero, actually. Maybe five. There we go. All right. So now it's not so much of a cardboard cutout. And once again, just to change this up real quick, we'll click on the stopwatch beside Max Path. And then when it moves forward a couple of frames, you can see it doesn't stay right where he is. So what we're going to do is we're going to select Max Path, and then we can just kind of drag and move this exactly like you would have when you're creating the mask layer for a lightsaber and then there you go that kind of follows him sort of that's a really rough rough job but that's okay for the purpose of this tutorial so now what we've got is this And there's the contact flashes. Makes it look really good. Alright, it's a pretty quick process adding it to your video, and it adds a whole new level of realism or just cool looks. Alright, well, thanks for reviewing my tutorials, and uh, I hope to make more in the future. Thanks. Bye.